Our global issue is the water pollution caused by cigarette butts. 5.5 trillion cigarettes are smoked yearly, and two-thirds of that amount is ending up as litter in the environment. Cigarettes should be trashed and the appropriate cigarette disposal, but a lot of people just flick them onto the ground. According to NOS, they primarily reach our waterways through improper disposal on beaches, rivers, and anywhere on land, transported to the coasts by runoff and stormwater. That's really upsetting, Lydia, especially because all this is purely human impact. It is the human use and consumption of cigarettes that create this issue of cigarette butt pollution. We do not dispose of our waste properly, so it is entirely our fault. Each individual cigarette holds up to 3,900 different chemicals. Examples of those are nicotine, cyanide, ammonia, cadmium, lead, acetone, and arsenic. The filters in cigarettes are made of a plastic-like material called cellulose acetate. Cellulose acetate is easy to manufacture, but not easy to degrade. It takes about 10 years to break down. According to NOS and Earth Day, the fibers in cigarette filters behave just like plastics in our oceans. The UV rays from our sun may break the fibers down into smaller pieces, but they don't disappear. One solid cigarette filter ends up being thousands of tiny microplastics. Overall, it can take up to 400 years for a cigarette butt to degrade in salt water. According to Truth Initiative, the metal and pesticide residues within cigarettes seep into the water and become toxic and lethal to marine life and aquatic ecosystems. We have come to a point where it is not uncommon for field researchers to find cigarette butts inside of dead seabirds, sea turtles, and fish and dolphins. Doc Stock says, when any animal ingests cigarette butts, the butts swell in the stomach of the animal. They cause false satiation. The animal, believing it is full, refrains from eating and eventually starves to death. According to Recycle Coach, you can buy cigarettes without filters. So if they do end up in litter, they can cause a significantly smaller issue. Another option is to carry a pocket ashtray, which ensures you know where your cigarette butts are ending up. If you're looking for a safe way to dispose of your cigarettes, there are organizations in all big cities that will recycle them for you. To start our experiment, we added 400 liters of salt water to each of the jars. To one of them, we added seven cigarette butts and left that to sit. And even after a few minutes, the salt water contaminated with cigarette butts already has turned yellow and has debris floating around. We are gonna leave these jars to sit overnight and see how they are tomorrow. Day two, we can see that the water became a lot darker. We started by testing for ammonia, so we dipped the test strips in each of the jars of water. The normal salt water had no ammonia in it, but the cigarette water had three milligrams of ammonia per liter. We dipped the nicotine test into both of the water solutions, and after letting them sit for five minutes, the regular salt water was negative, and the salt water with cigarettes in it was positive. The last test we did was a phosphate test. The salt water had levels of 0.25 and the water containing cigarettes had two. In conclusion, I think this experiment is very successful in showing the harmful effects of cigarette butts on our Earth's oceans.